What is up you guys and welcome back to another video as you can see right here We still got the 6.0 hooked up to the flatbed trailer haven't moved it since yesterday One thing I have moved here is the old tractor I actually drove over to the shop over there and now let, let's hop in it real quick we got to go check a couple things out so i've officially made up my mind that this is definitely gonna be our hay field over here the amount of profit this will bring from getting all this mode you know as a hay field it's gonna be very very good so i kind of want to just use all of this over here most of the land anyway might i say i guess there might be a few little areas we don't harvest for hay so i'm gonna kind of get right here real quick i want to kind of get a little path going through here just to kind of start now we are actually going to be looking at a truck today too we're going to be buying something pretty crazy um a truck i've never bought and i figured you know for a video man we had to do it you know or i wanted to do it how about that so yeah we're gonna see what these trucks can actually do because people claim these old uh it's squatted trucks is what it is so yeah people claim these squatted trucks man can do everything a regular truck can do so today going to put that to the test and see if it's true starting with hauling hay being that we're going to have some hay ready after this right here let's go ahead and back around like this i'll get up close here in a minute right now i'm just kind of rolling through here like this nice and easy nice and smooth nothing crazy i'm gonna go ahead and skip a lot of this because i don't want to bore you guys with me just going back and forth mowing some grass obviously i know that get a little boring but uh i am going to get this mode a pretty good bit of it in order for us to actually be able to bail up you know some hay bales because we're going to use those in today's video to test out this old squatted truck that we're going to be buying you guys probably know what it looks like by the thumbnail right now but uh yeah it's uh it's pretty crazy looking now this guy was trying to charge me like fifteen thousand dollars for this truck that's what he wanted for it. that was his asking price i was like yeah no way no how buddy i don't care if you got eighteen to twenty thousand dollars in this truck somewhere he claimed anyway but yeah we uh we are not given that amount for it i got him talked down to uh two thousand dollars he didn't really want to take it but he did though so that goes to show me that he knew that truck wasn't worth much at all i think the rims actually are the only thing on it that are actually worth having but other than that now nah, yep man everything else just not really worth it so what we're going to do here is continue to cut some grass and then in a little while we're going to go pick up that truck and see what kind of work we can do with it today all right, finishing up this last little pass right here, and we'll have everything mowed on this side that I was originally wanting to mow. And get turned around right here, and this should be the very last little pass. Man, this tractor, it's one thing about it, it doesn't turn real sharp. I wish I could kind of change that. That yeah, we'll be able to. But anyway, we'll make it. Um, let's go ahead over here. Let's see, I think there's a little grass right here I need to try to get in this pile of grass. So we can back up like this. There we go. I think I got most of it. So we should be good there. I'm going to go back to the fab shop over here. Can we get a little air with the tractor? Ooh, no. Yeah, we're not ramping anything. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut off the mower. And we're going to get the wind rower, get everything rowed up, then get the baler, get it all built up. Then we got to go buy that truck. So, yeah, we're going to buy that truck. And it's going to be the truck we use to haul all this hay. You know, it works out. I was wanting to get some work done over here in the hay field. And, you know, it's just what better truck to use than a squatted truck that's probably not really supposed to be used for this but that's what's going to make it so fun and so interesting to see all right just got hooked up to that and we're going to get over here go and unfold it real quick that oh wait a minute maybe i shouldn't unfold it because we got to fit through this gate right here unless oh that was a well yeah we could have went around it anyway actually i think we can fit we'll go ahead and start unfolding right here go and get this thing lowered down and we are about to get to work yeah, this is going to make quick work of all this. Then we'll just make... Uh oh, oh I'm, I'm getting a little squirrely here. Then we'll just make one pass with the baler and we'll be done. All right, we got all that rowed up. Now all we got to do is go get the baler and we will be looking pretty good. All right, just got the baler picked up. Got it on there, you know, getting ready. Got it warming up. And we're going to get all this grass picked up and get it turned into some hay bales, man gonna get all this done in a timely manner so man we're just flying through here got several other things to do today so we gotta get all this taken care of as quickly as possible uh oh i'm gonna just pull to the side with that one. Oh, did we make it probably not anyway we'll kind of have to just come back and pick that up i just got the automatic dropper on just so it automatically drops all the bales once they're bailed up all right you guys we just got done getting everything bailed up we managed to get a pretty good amount of bales 
pretty quickly you know i was just rolling through there man i wasn't really slowing down for anything honestly and got that done pretty quick so what we're going to do now is head back over here to the house and we're going to get in the 6-0 now that's because we got to go pick up the truck that is going to be hauling all those bales now i know we got some very qualified trucks sitting right here for this job and that will definitely haul the hay bales but what what fun is that you know we're going to go buy a squatted truck put it to the test to see if these trucks are useless or if they can be used for regular farming jobs such as uh, hauling some hay or hauling a load of rock oh yeah that, that would be funny but anyway let's go and hop in the 6-0 and get headed out and pull out to the right right here the guy knows i'm on my way it's actually his son's truck that he's selling his son is out of town and he claimed that his son knew he was selling it i don't know it seemed a little fishy but hey i can't worry about all that He's selling it to me for a mere $2,000. The son was the one who was wanting like 15 k but the dad was like, yeah, it's not worth all that money. Just give me 2 k and get it out of my way. So, hey, I mean, we're going to go ahead and get it. Did say something about bad grades, uh, but the guy's in college. So I don't really understand that part. But anyway, hey, I'm not asking questions. Not really anyway. But yeah, if you look up here to the right, you can probably see the truck. Yeah, these squatted trucks going to whip out right here in front of this car. Hopefully not getting a wreck. Turn in front of him. Uh, uh, can we, can we, yom, and we hit a fence. All right. Sorry, you were in the way. All right. <clears throat> going to get pulled. Man, this is already not going good. Okay. Get over here like this. Okay, this, this is, this is really not going good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, we got it this time. Got it this time. Swing wide. All because we tried to outrun that car, man. Why was it so hard? Golly. I thought the 6-0 was faster than that, man. We gotta get some stuff done to the 6-0 to make it accelerate a little quick. A little low on power according to racing uh, SUV passing by. Anyway, here's the truck. And it's got, uh, what is this on it? It's got a FTS lift on the front. Doesn't look like it has anything on the back. It's got a toolbox. Got uh, all the bells and whistles of a squatted truck. Even has some custom tail lights. With an LED cube in the rear. I did not know that. Um, got a painted hitch. Painted plastic on the bumper. A smooth bumper up front. Uh, yeah, it's got some racks up top. Anyway, so yeah, just old squatted truck here that we're going to use for some farm work today. So yeah, and some, uh, not to mention the rims we have here. Some big old rims. And we're going to get this thing loaded up. I'm going to get the dad paid. And we're going to get out of here. Alright, as you can see there... We paid the $2,000 for the truck. And this thing is so loud, man. All right. Go ahead and get this thing loaded up onto the trailer. We got the hitch dragging the ground. Oh, is this thing even going to fit? Oh, dude, it's up here. Oh, my gosh. All right. We're making it. We're making it. We're getting it. It's on the trailer mostly. This thing is so loud. All right. Well, we're headed out with our new squatted truck here. And when this kid comes back home from being away from college, dude, what is up with the SUVs? Hitting me, bro. Anyway. Dude, another one. What? What 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 are y'all doing? Man, I'm being targeted by all the SUVs. Earning in. Like I was saying here before I was rudely interrupted more than once. We now are the owners of a squatted OBS Chevy. I like the OBS part and the Chevy part. Even the rims. Even like the lift in the front. Just gotta get that evened out a little bit. Or just not squatted so much you know that's that's my deal i like a little lean on my trucks you know just maybe like a inch or two lower in the back but that's it this guy here has this thing sitting on the back wheels so yeah we're not gonna do anything like that um we are gonna be leaving this truck squatted for the time being we may change it up in the future but as of right now it's just gonna stay old squatted work truck we're gonna see what kind of things we can get done with it before it just blows up breaks and is unusable now it's important that you use the ramps when you put them down so we're just going to be sure to not use them <laughs> and right off the side of the trailer all right let's go and get this trailer oh yeah wait a minute we got to get it unhooked all right not sure how this is going to work hauling this trailer because the hitch is literally on the ground here all right we got it um somehow let's go and turn around like this our squatted trucks useless when it comes to actually hauling. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Okay, we got this. This thing is hard to drive. I can't see where I'm going. I literally cannot see where I'm going. 
Okay, alright. Dude, how do people drive like this? I gotta stand up or I can't even drive the truck. Way down here. Everything's dragging the ground. Alright, we're here to do some work. Now we're gonna try to get all these loaded up and see what we can make happen. Alright, well we got all the hay bales loaded up and to my surprise, man, it's actually hauling it. Like, I didn't really expect that, but it is actually pulling it pretty good. So, I don't know, man. We'll see where this goes and we'll see if we can get these things sold. Alright, everything is loaded up and like I was saying, it seems to be hauling kind of good, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually not doing terrible. Uh, let's see if it pulls up this. Oh, yeah, man. Actually, with ease. Wow. Watch this be... Yeah, uh, well, we're not even going to say that. One of the best hauling trucks I have. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to pretend I didn't say that. Anyway, we're headed here to go sell this hay at the sale point. I don't know if you guys can even hear me right now because uh, I can't even hear myself think because this truck is so loud. Anyway, I'll see you guys here in just a moment when we get a little bit closer to that sale point where we can see just how much we bring in with the hay bales here. Should be enough to cover the cost of us buying the squatted truck today. All right, here we are coming up on the sale point. They're probably going to be very confused as to why I'm using this to haul hay today. But that's okay. We'll just let them be a little confused. All right, we got all the bales sold. The total being $8,877, bringing us to a total of a little over $136,000. So, man, that was a pretty decent profit. We definitely made some money, even though we spent $2,000 on the truck here. We definitely ended up with more than we started with today so that's always a plus let's see if we can now go head on towards this suv and cut right in front of them and get to where we're going okay the trailer does get a little squirrely hauling it with the truck here this truck the squatted truck i think it's something to do with it being squatted but like when you have weight on the trailer it actually drives better i don't know it sounds weird but yeah i wasn't having this problem while ago with all that hay and here we are arriving back to the house safely. We made it, thank goodness. We're gonna park these blue trucks over here. Just so happened this one's blue too. And here it is, you guys. I'll give you a little tour of the inside of it. You see we got everything in here. Got the air freshener hanging. We got the camo door speakers. It's actually really nice in here. But I think we're gonna wrap up this video right here, you guys, if you did enjoy this. If you would like to see some more squatted truck content, because I got a lot of plans for this truck, yeah, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff in the next video. So be sure to leave a like. Be sure to turn on post notifications, you guys, and set them to all. That way you will be notified when I post videos, go live, whatever it may be. When I do it on my channel, you guys will be notified. But anyway, I think we're going to wrap up today's video, like I was saying, right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.